To properly prepare the cable for a mid sheath opening, adhere to the opening length on the screen. To properly prepare a cut cable for a butt splice application, adhere to the opening length on the screen. Apply the slit grommet to the cable sheath. Strength member retention for cables with large central strength members. Place the strength member extension bracket on top of a long L bracket. Install the flathead screw into the L bracket and secure with a nut. Repeat for the bottom slot. Adjust the extension bracket to the desired length and tighten the nuts with a can wrench. Align the cable sheath opening with the bottom slot in the L bracket. Mark the strength member at the end of the extension bracket. Trim the strength member at this mark. Place a hose clamp on the cable sheath. Slide the strength member retention lug onto the end of the strength member. Place the L bracket onto the cable and align the lug with the extension bracket. Install a bolt through the extension bracket into the lug and tighten to secure the strength member. Tighten the hose clamp to secure the strength member bracket to the cable. Strength member retention for armored cables with large central strength members. Place the strength member extension bracket on top of a long L bracket. Install the flathead screw into the L bracket and secure with a nut. Adjust the extension bracket to the desired length and tighten with a can wrench. Align the cable sheath opening with the bottom slot in the L bracket. Mark the strength member at the end of the extension bracket. Trim the strength member at this mark. To properly install a shield connector on an armored cable, refer to the specific model's instructions to determine the appropriate cable opening. Open the cable per your company's practice. Slide the base of the shield connector under the sheath of the cable. Apply the top and secure with a nut. Place a hose clamp on the cable sheath. Slide the strength member retention lug onto the end of the strength member. Feed the stud of the shield connector through the slot in the L bracket. Install a bolt through the extension bracket into the lug to secure the strength member. Secure the shield connector to the L bracket with a nut. Tighten the hose clamp to secure the strength member bracket to the cable. Strength member retention for cables with embedded strength members. Trim one set of strength members as close to the sheath opening as possible. Align the sheath opening with the middle of the L bracket. Mark the strength members at the end of the bracket. Trim the strength members at this mark. Feed the stud of the cap into the end of the L bracket and loosely secure with a nut. Position the strength members under the cap and tighten the nut with a can wrench. Secure the cable to the L bracket with the hose clamp. For corning fast access cables with rotable subunits, open the cable per accepted company practices. Align the sheath opening with the middle of the L bracket. Secure the L bracket to the cable with the hose clamp. Tighten the hose clamp with the can wrench. Strength member retention for unitube cables. Align the sheath opening with the bottom slot of the L bracket. 
Mark the strength members at the end of the bracket. Trim the strength members at this mark. Feed the stud of the cap into the end of the L bracket and loosely secure with a nut. Position the strength members under the cap Tighten the nut with a can wrench. Secure the cable to the L bracket with a hose clamp.